Hey there folks, and welcome back to Wildermyth. I hope you're all doing well today. I've been having a good one. It is the weekend for me, so feeling pretty good about that. Nice to have some time off. Nothing too crazy going on though. So you may notice that we're on something that looks a little different here. So by request from some of the viewers, and also this is something I was thinking about doing anyway, I have decided to play through the standardized pre-made campaigns for Wildermyth the game in Walking Lunch, the hardest difficulty that the game offers. Now, interestingly, I have not experienced these campaigns at all. Uh, the first one that we're doing, the one that we have up right now, is called The Age of Ulstrix, and it's treated as the tutorial campaign typically, but because of the way I started the game with like in multiplayer with another friend, I never actually experienced it. Like I got through like part of it and then it ended and then I just quit out and never really got into any of it beyond that. So it's kind of interesting. Normally, I don't think people experience the game this way, so I don't know what to expect. And even worse, I had to start brand new characters. So these are not legacy characters because this is supposed to be the tutorial. So you don't get your legacy heroes. So we're going to just see how our rando terrible critters are going to make it through this. Uh, it's pretty impressive, though, that we did manage to get through our previous campaign in four episodes compared to the eight that my first campaign took. So I think that's a much better pace. Four episodes, a campaign. I think I could reasonably chug through that in a week. Uh, you know, that would be four days of episodes. So basically every week you get a new campaign. I think that works out. We'll try to target something similar here, I think. But who knows? Maybe the walking lunch difficulty just destroys me and I lose, <laughs> which would be kind of cool. So. So, yeah, I don't really know what all else to expect, but I figure we can kind of just jump right into it and see how it goes. Uh, the characters we have are basically randomized. I just kind of rolled them to a decent start and let the you know campaign RNG pick the rest of them, like their name, their everything else about them. So. So, yeah, we'll figure that out as we go. And that's pretty much as much as I'm going to say there. So, as always, you know, if you enjoy Wildermyth and don't hate my playthroughs, if you're still here, that's great. Consider subscribing, liking the video, and leaving a comment. Uh, hopefully this is interesting. I certainly don't know what to expect, so rock on. And here we are at the intro screen to the campaign. So, rock on. This book get some windiness going on. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Ah, yes, who's this dude? This is, we named him Ringo. So, how how shall I do this? You know, actually, I think, hmm, what's his voice going to be? I can make my death sound really ridiculous. All right, then. It should at least start at serious. Here in our yandering country, something in the woods is very strange. Hmm. Ah, yes, pretty though. Let's see. I think we're. I don't. I can't. I don't think he's talking. But bothered only by a hole in her sock, a young woman named Falcone takes the seasonal road to the town of Hardfall. Hmm. Hate to avoid Madame Zua's window. She'll throw another pot at me. I mean, her daughter had it coming, though, didn't she? Want to get me in a barrel fight? I'll oblige. Simple as that. Breeze is light that day. Birds are timid. In fact, the whole world is taking a breath, ready to leap in the sea. I'm there already, huh? Here's the hard part. Getting pallid free out of bed. Hopefully it's just her in there, and hopefully she's wearing clothes this time. Or else I... Or else... That's... Smoke? Fluttering flames roost among the far-off rooftops. Falcone hurries toward town, thinking of Palladfree, a young woman whom she's known since girlhood. 
Let's see, is it a rivalry, a friendship, or a romance? We'll call it a rivalry. I'm down for that. <laughs> or maybe not so fine. Hey, pallid for you there. All right, we're hunting. Get the starting combat. Okay, so the game is trying to tutorialize this. Like, oh no, how do I do what I'm about to do? Put out fires. Okay. The game, I think, does make you go through this the first time around. I do remember doing this part. Okay. Huh? The fire didn't reach your house? Figures. Pallid Free, open up. You have help out here. And that idiot. Why is no one? The door unlocks. Pallid Free shoves it open. Yeah, you what's? Honestly wish you would have skipped. Get inside. Oh, slam the door. Your bow. Yeah, there's things in the streets. You didn't see any? Like monsters. I don't know. I've got one trapped behind. Go -roo! Behind the house. They just rampaged in all of a sudden? Why not kill it? Right, so here. I've got some tools around here. Look, I know we're not best friends, but we still find a reason to see each other. Can you help me fight it off? Alright, we get to pick a weapon. Frying pan. For the win. I can't believe I'm dying with you. You should be so lucky. You're dying alone or not at all. We get to fight a random critter. Cool. So they try to teach you stuff. We need to advance, wait around, crack the door. Oh. Huh, interesting. You really don't have much stuff here, huh? Interesting. Where is this creature? Ah, there it is. Way off in La La Land. Okay, well, we're just going to shoot it then. And then group up. Oh, you don't even have Guardian at this stage. Tough. All right, well, we're guaranteed to kill here, so that's good. Cool. He almost died. I was expecting her to have Guardian because I was expecting her to be a warrior at this point, but apparently not. Okay, now we're a warrior. That's that's exciting. All right, let's think. There's a Frighten, Paladin, or Shield Shear. I think we need to be a Paladin here for sure. Oh, interesting. She gets entirely huh we're gonna give her piercing shots i think you know quelling moss is actually really good the poison here is aoe that's very strong but uh you know i'll take quelling moss i think this is actually a really good ability for like a utility setup so we'll take it equip the gear well, now, not how I expected the day to go, but I guess we're both heroes. Isn't that good? The creature's death is quiet. It seems to slip from life in a few stunned, hazy blinks. They'll spend a piece of the day getting the flames under control. The damage isn't as bad as it could have been. Townsfolk emerge from hiding to fight fires and clear debris. Some full of curiosity, others visibly haunted by what they've seen. Let's see... Ringo must already be waiting for us. We'll be safer if, or anyway, we both should go. Ringo? He's at that ruined tower by now. It's a long way. Can we leave the town a mess? Others will take care of it, but Ringo will be waiting for us. What happened today could be happening everywhere, couldn't it? Something about that tower is just stuck in my mind. It's like when you get apple skin in your teeth. Is it really? Huh? Yeah. Anyway, I just think, we said we'd meet him. We should. The tower in the hills. You've been there? Yeah, once. Actually, looking at the tracks, they come and they go in that direction. Falcone and Pallid Free follow the pounded path of monstrous feet, hoping for the best and dreading every other possibility. Let's see. Yeah, sure, we'll make them romantic. Why not? A wordless while passes between them, but the quiet only heightens their worry. You've always been a little fond of him, I thought. Of Ringo? You mean I have? Oh. Is that true? 
No one does make me laugh like he does, I suppose. There's more to him than that, but anyway. And plus, it seems like no matter where he goes, we tend to have adventures. Alright, our objective is to scout ahead. Cool. Ah, the thing is named literally Wildermyth. Appropriate. The previous night, the tower where Ringo had arranged to meet Falcone and Paladfrey is a place he often used to escape to as a boy. He knows its rooms and floors so well, he could survive being chased through them. And now I wait, I suppose. Dust gets deep as rain puddles in here. Alive is alive until that beast breaks through. Hmm. What do you say, beast? Gnuff, snuffrick. Even you must be bored. The tower is an heirloom of an earlier people. The locals have lost the legend of it. Maybe the boast. Maybe the boat. Hmm. That's English is hard. Maybe the boast of some. Hmm. Maybe the boast of some long-dead despot whose name had sunk in the river. It's kind of a weird sentence. I don't know if I agree with the grammar there. But as the old will tell you, precious things go overlooked in a ruin. What lodges amid the bones of failure is offered the dream that drove it. He looks in a bookshelf. That book, why have I never? Quank! Easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself, huh, beast? I'm also wondering. Ringo bends to pull it loose. Whoa, he got the golden power! The book's heavier than its slender spine suggests, and it's named Wildermyth. Look at all this. It's full of strange stories, the folklore of folk long forgotten. The tyrant's medicine. Imparts no salient secret. It's only a fairy tale about a dying emperor. He swallows stars every month to calm his cancerous anger. The Tears of Oak Woman is a weird, rootless tragedy of a woman made of oak who stands on a sea cliff and is eaten by termites as she waits for her driftwood love to wash ashore. The flotsam beauty floats forever past the edge of the incoming tide. Mama Hardfall's horn spins the yarn of a mother who drank so much and laughed so freely that she grew a beautiful spiral horn. Her children were very proud. And he becomes glowy. Ringo reaches the last word of the final tall tale. A few, a few blank pages are left. This book. Something in him feels like it's coming loose, but he can't tell exactly what. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Uh, all right, then I should at least start it serious. Here, in our yandering country. Ringo writes, words are ready. Omens have formed in the fabric of everything, and he's beginning to recognize them now. Some are just misgivings. They've crept through his body like the sourceless aches one wakes with. Others are more substantial. Now they seem lightning plain, a promise of thunder. But in the wild black woods where birds once belled, a hateful silence churns. Pain lights Ringo's head, subsides. I made it to morning? He lowers his bleary eyes. His story lies before him in luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. Why do I feel powerful? I'm gonna give him a staff. Of course. Well, beast, it's time. I am getting out of here. All right, and he's gotta fight a critter now. Cool, this is the, let's teach us about how the heck we use interfusion. Cool, because I actually already know this. <laughs> Just kill the critter. We did it. He killed the bad guy. We get to start with Ignite. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's make a an elementalist build. That sounds fun. And sure, he can have this item. Great news. Reunion. More monsters roam the ruined halls and rattle the rotting furniture. But Ringo moves quietly, sensing his way in the dark. Daylight lands on his wrist. Cool wind soothes his tired eyes. Did, did I make it? I, I did, didn't I? He closes the tower door, gentle to make no noise. That was the mystic's art that I did, right, tower? Where did I get it from? Could it have just happened? Is it just one of those things? Things a man's born with that might blossom in his life when he needs them? People would be so mad at me, but fortune likes a smile, they say. Ringo? Maybe in starlight, I'll understand it deeper. Ringo, you're okay. You're okay, it looks like. Hey, Ringo, something happened? Hmm? Alfred, you're here, and you're safe. Good. Oh, sorry, and you too, Falcon. Me and this boulder I'm next to only barely survived. Yeah, see the smoke on the horizon? That's from the town. Yeah, that's Heartfall. It burned? Guru! That's like their favorite sound. Things are different than they were. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've ever seen something quite like this. A monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. They are... He's confused. <laughs> well, I'm a wizard. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. We do the assault. Cool. I'm sick of talking. I'm going in. Don't follow me if you're scared. A perfect understanding isn't likely to emerge. What these beasts are, where they came from, what drove them to attack the town of Hardfall. But letting them nest here feels like the wrong idea. Unless you really are scared, let's just pick a plan and go with it. Sure, well... Let's see, courage or stoicism? Let's go with stoicism. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna get wrecked. Oh yeah, they give me raccoons, huh? Raccoons are tough. Interesting. No enemies, huh? We wait. I guess we kind of just chill. I don't know where they're going to poke out from. All right, let's advance then. I guess they're all in this room, huh? This back room, I suppose. Fine. And new characters are a struggle. All right, we need to get in position here. I need to withdraw from the other one. Wait here. She needs to advance. We chill. All right, who kicks the door? All right, we're going to kick the door with the archer. Yeah, oh boy, a lot of enemies in there. I'm going to take this quelling moss, I think. It's pretty good. Oh, I can double Quelling Moss, huh? Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, all right. Okay, I need to infuse something in that room. What do I have? A flare? I'm going to take the discus for sure. Of course, it dodged. But of course, the enemy dodged. I need to wall here, though. I think I need to do this. Oh, come on with the dodging. That's tough. We're gonna get lit up here. Just block, please. It'll have to do. Alright, well, we killed one. That's good. I will take double poison. I love the poison here, huh? Because one of them is dead from that. Oh, interesting. I can ignite here and then fire leash it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think we get it now. The burn will take care of it because of the poison. Yeah, so poison four. 
Yeah, all right, cool. We get through this without anyone dying in the second combat. That's pretty good. Bonus damage. Well, I guess I'll give it to the warrior. Yeah, sure. The last misshapen creature folds its bones and dies. Blue fluids darken the dust. Their calm exit to death. It's the most haunting thing. It feels like they're suffering. Sick. Hey, look at us. Look at what we did. Yeah. Day drops. Day rises. Dusk is sweet. The sunrise sweeter. It's not long before they've cleaned the old tower up a bit. I always liked the weird stairs and stones. And, well, it did save me. I always knew this morning would rise when I'd gaze into the sky and see a destiny for myself. A destiny to inspire song. Let's not wait to be overrun. We're a company of heroes now. We'll walk this land. We'll fight. People, they need us. We'll give ourselves a name and make sure it's one they'll sing. Sounds like you've thought about this. Name the company. The Elk of the Riddle? Moose's Secret? The Gang of Violet Freedom? You know... We're going to go with the Gang of Violet Freedom. Sure. After that, the three of them are inseparable. Rumors are rampant. Heroes are needed. This world will be flooded in sorrows, but its defenders are joined by a fire that night. Here follow the tales of the Gang of Violet Freedom. I did pick that name, didn't I? Okay. All right, so first chapter. You know, the interesting thing about these campaigns is that they are they have a lot more narrative in them, huh? There's just a lot more going on. We're going to need to recruit here, but I don't think I have to do it right away because, again, I'd like to do that between episodes, if at all possible. So we'll just do that. Uh, let's move on. An assault. Hook, fall, whatever. By hoof and horn. This forest is heavy with shadow. The trees are so thick, even the noonday sun can't reach the ground. We haven't seen a single living thing, but I can't shake the feeling that we're being wa- Shh! I see someone. Hide. They hide. There's a sad lady. She looks sad. Maybe she's lost. Hello, are you lost? Ah! Sorry, sorry, you scared the life nearly out of me. What are you doing here? We ask the questions around here. Oh, we are hunting for the horned monsters that live here. I, I suppose we are here for the same thing then. You came by yourself to kill these vermin. They're not vermin. Or they weren't always this way. They, they were people once, and one of them, one of them was my husband. What evil sorcery is it that can turn a normal person into such monsters? No sorcery, just words. Evil, slippery words. Words that filled his mind with dark thoughts and wicked cravings. Ah, he's, he's too far gone now, my husband. The last time I saw him, all that was left in his eyes was some primal rage that terrified me. The person I knew is gone. I wish I'd had the strength to strike him down there and then, but I couldn't. I'm here to end this, or he can hurt anyone else. Yo, but you're a villager. I don't... Don't get involved, honey. Ah, thank you for sparing me this task. I think my conviction would fail me again in the end. Okay. Yikes. Okay, we get Slingers and Woken out of the gate, huh? Right, I need to wall here for sure. Hmm. Oh, right, her attacks apply poison now, too. That's interesting. I'd almost forgotten about that. Let's see. Can I ignite something under their feet? Oh, dang it. I forget that's not a free action, huh? That's going to cost me, huh? 
Alright, I'll take the poisoned one with the attack. It's fine. Got a good block. They alarm. Ah, nice. Good knockback. Okay. Well, that turn one went pretty well. I can fire leash this man to death because fire is strong. She can just shoot this man, so he's super dead. Cool, we did it. Great job, everyone. Cool, let's advance. And we wait, and we wait, and we wait. We kick the door. Hmm. Best choice here is to steal fire out of the fire pot. Oh, it's actually really good by putting it back there, huh? Shame he dodged it. Yeah, I kind of expected that, but it's okay. He'll advance and get wrecked. And get bonked. Excellent. Give the man a bonk. I think I'll actually swap. Oh, she can't diagonal stab, huh? It's fine. I can get her with get him with this. I can double poison here. Which for sure gets the kill. Yeah, cool. Um, let's see. I could ignite here and then throw fire at this back dude. Of course, he's a dodgy dude. It's fine though. We at least get rid of that dude with the poison. Hey, if we keep dodging, I do not mind one bit. If they keep dodging, though, I do mind a lot of bits. Cool, he's dead already, and he just doesn't know it yet. We just wait, he's dead. Cool, thanks, poison. And we get through it with no deaths. We get armor? Just free armor is excellent. Yeah, absolutely, free armor. Cool. All right, I do need to get items, I think, in this early stage. So we're going to do that. This is a strategy that works very well in the other one that I play, the Tragic Hero. But is it good in this setup? Great question. I don't know. It's really tough to say. I debate how important it is to... The patrol here, right? Let's see. The Heart of Stars. This spot looks good enough. Let's crash here for a night. We've got a busy day tomorrow. She looks up at the stars. I gotta go do something. See you all a bit later. Mind if I come along? Happy to join. Sure. They go. Uh, where are we heading to, bud? She looks down. Someone I used to know died on this day. So each year I light a candle for him. I think anyone would like to be remembered that way. It was ages ago, but well, you never stop missing them. No, you just learn to carry it more lightly. They walk together. Huh? What's this? Looks like a shrine. Let's see, perfect place for a candle. Sure. Falcone kneels, setting the candle on the shrine. All right. Let's see. Ah, uh, Falcone? Oh, gosh. We've summoned a tree creature. And just as suddenly as it appeared, it's gone once more. Interesting, they get a little boon. Fun and cute. Okay. We're really weak in this early stage. I need to get weapons ASAP, I think. This is a really good poison setup. We just double poison here. I really like the poison build. It's really effective at this stuff. All right, I need to ignite and kill the raccoon, if at all possible. Let's see. And sadly, that doesn't reach. I was hoping it would. I might do a splinter blast here. That's probably the best one. All right, we'll do a splinter blast here. 
Oh, all right. Got the crit. That's pretty good. I need to defend here. Actually, I think I should just stab to death. Yeah, good job. Okay, that's a kill. This does leave Falcone open to a poisonous shot, which I need to be very careful about. Yeah, we get the we lose the walling benefit from doing that, but it'll just have to do. It will just have to do. We're going to set fire underneath this person for a double attack. And then we're going to... Man, this is so good. Ignite is nuts. She needs to back up now. And I need to Quelling Moss, I think. Let's see. One hit here. Yeah, it kills the raccoon. And one hit here kills the deer. Yeah, cool. All right. I think that's a double kill. Excellent. Yikes. That is a lot of damage. Good job. Killed that man. Take the shot. Good stunt. We'll take a stab. Good kill. I think that should be the last enemy. Yikes. Took a lot of damage there. But it'll have to do... Stalwart's really good. You can flip it as a free action and just toggle the armor on and off. Which is really, really good. Very, very strong. Or I can just upgrade Paladin. Hmm. Or I can make her do more damage. Kind of a tough one, actually. None of these are excellent, but they're all pretty okay. I think I'm going to take Viciousness here. Actually, you know what? Paladin's probably the best one, but I think I'm going to take Viciousness. Just do more damage. Hell yes, I want upgraded armor. That is an excellent hit. Cool. Calamity, take the item here. I need a time to heal anyway. Right, Calamities, get the Gorgons out of here. I need to just stop anything that... Wow, six. This is walking lunch, huh? I'm used to dealing with, what, four? That's going to be a nightmare. And they refresh so fast. I don't know if it's correct to get these items, huh? I'm just not sure if they are correct or not. Because you don't have a lot of time. Right? I don't know. It's tough. I think you need the items early on before you, like, can survive, right? Because you might just lose. I have to build a dang bridge. This is going to suck. Ugh, more calamities incoming. I do not want the Gorgon. Just cancel anything Gorgon related. I know there was another one, but it's okay if the deer are a little stronger. All right, let's scout this out now. Puts us behind a lot having to build that stupid bridge, but it's fine. Jigsaw. Interesting. This place gives me the creeps. What kind of weirdos would want to live here? This doesn't feel like someone's home. Look at the height of the walls. There must have been a huge domed ceiling. It must have been so lovely and calm and still. Except for the times when it was filled with a community coming together to celebrate or to comfort each other. It was a shrine. Am I the only person wondering to whom or to what? Our shrine experiences have been a little varied. I expect those who built this place preserved what was important to them in that chest over there. It's just about the only thing left intact. It's going to need all three of us to get it open. One, two, three. Well, that's... I'm not sure what that is. Is that a... It's not a that as much as a them? Are those legs? I think so. So it's the lower third of a statue? Wait, why would anyone store a statue in the... 
Uh, team, weapons out. The party's coming to us. All right, enemies. Tough. Oh, we got a rager. Tough. I do need that. It's tough because I don't think I can reasonably get that water spirit without killing myself. Yeah, I mean, that probably just kills me. Yeah, probably. We'll just do a double poison here. It's probably the best way of approaching this. I can knock this back. It's a good bonk. Hmm. I think I... I never can wall all three of them, but I think I can. Ah, oh, dang it! I forget that's a whole single action there. We're gonna, like, lose someone to that, aren't we? Yikes. I'm not used to playing Ignite. Okay, well, we're not dead. That was a big hit, though. Right, this is annoying because if you walk with a single action, it becomes turn-ended. I want to throw this fire over here, for sure. Hmm. I debate what the best approach here is. A discus is pretty good, but I think the fire is just going to be the stronger option, huh? I mean, of course they dodge. It's really annoying, but... Alright. Let's take the moss, I think. Do another moss. This will at least end most of these enemies. Or at least pretty well handle it. I'll guardian here because I don't have to hit that dude thanks to the poison. Yeah. I mean, we're probably going to lose someone here. Don't attack. Ooh. Fellow has one HP left. Yikes. Let's see. This guy has how much poison on him? He has two poison. Oh, this is very bad. I need to not get destroyed by this thing. I can guarantee I don't die to this guy by using both of their actions. What do I have infusion wise? I have a lance, I have a discus. Yikes, okay, so if I, the discus is kind of a gamble here. I could just miss is the problem. And I'm just taking shots from this raccoon back here. This is a really rough position to be in. Yeah, like this discus doesn't kill him. I could ignite and pull the fire in. I think she has to kill this guy. Ugh. Okay, or they can miss. The bone lance, I think, might be the best choice here. Yeah. Or, you know, the enemies can just dodge everything. Alright, that should at least kill this man and prevent this guy from dying. Yeah, good. Okay. So now I just have to survive another two rounds behind cover. Okay. Promising. Of course it blocks. Just of course it blocks. I don't want to break my cover, though. I think that's going to be important. Let's see, the fire here. She's gonna bonk this. Do a big bonk. All right, we killed it. We're not dead yet. Who do I need to provide extra armor to? Allied free for sure. All right, we're going to now infuse. Ah, the, the lamp effect is too, too small of an effect. Take the disc, it's hit please. Ah, yes, excellent. Okay, we didn't die. That was actually really hard. Jeez. 
Okay, I can upgrade Quelling Moss, which is literally double damage, which is great news. Yeah, we do that. Warding. I'll put it on the tank, I suppose. Let's see. Hey, look what I found. A clue to the people who built this place. I got this lid open by myself. I think it's more of a statue. The, the middle piece, right? The torso. If that's the torso, it must have been about twice my height. It probably fit into one of those alcoves. Let's go look at these other chests. I bet the head's in one of them. Doesn't it bother anyone else that the statue was stored in three separate? I found it. Here's the head. Oh, wow. It's the head day or something, because I found a head, too. I mean a stone head, not an actual head. That would be gross. Yours is a stone head, too, right? Later. Um, are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. We should honor those who built this statue by restoring it to its proper appearance. The only question is, which head do we use? Let's see, not enough frogs? Or seriously, we should leave this thing alone. I don't know. It's... You gotta understand. I know what this ram head does. The ram head activates God and kills me. I don't know what the frog has the head does, so I guess we're gonna try the frog, even though I hate that animal. Here we go. They put the frog head on. It glows. <laughs> Falcone is terrified. Groan Creek. Boing. Thud Creek. Boing. Thud. Let's see. That feels wonderful. I got so stiff all those years in that box. I shall give a gift to you who set me free. Oh, he glows. He, he's glowing. Are you serious? He got turned into a frog? Now to see how the world has changed. Hey, wait. Now I bet you'd wish you'd listened to me and left it alone. Oh, I don't know, Falcone. Like I said before, there aren't nearly enough frogs in the world. Are we serious about this right now? I have to deal with a frog man now? Of... What does this do? He has a yank skill? Oh no. This is horrible. What a terrible transformation. That is... Maybe the worst. We need to heal, so I'm going to do this anyway, no matter what. I have to heal, so this is a useful expenditure of my time. Stunt chance. Probably belongs on the ranger here. Alright, fair enough. Still gotta heal a bit. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. I need to not get killed by raccoons. I need to cancel all of these, but I... Oh, this is awful. Oh, man. Walking lunch is going to be a nightmare. The Witch Stone. One fateful night. Something about that rock makes me shiver. A tall black finger of stone angles out of the earth, points to a pale bloated moon. Its surface should shine, but the stone seems to eat all light. It looms dull and terrible. Witchstone, they call it. Dark and tall and thirsty. I've heard of these things, but only in childish stories. It's said if you don't offer it a joyous memory, it will lay a curse on your back. Hmm. Sacrifice a memory. Interesting. Or I could tell someone to just give up on it. I'm actually, you know, do I want a curse? What does this curse do? I have no clue what this curse does. It can't be worse than the frog. Can I sacrifice the frog memory? This is kind of a weird one. I'm really curious what the curse will be. So we're going to actually skip it. 
Aren't you frightened of the... Frightened? Falcone, if I sacrificed the memory to every spooky-looking rock I came across, I wouldn't even remember my own name by now. It's pallid for you, by the way. They look concerned, and they continue. Okay. Hope. Looks like Falcone got cursed. Hmm. Falcone is inhabited. What does that mean? What does that mean? The home of a tortured black spirit when the witch stone's appetite went unsated. Uh. That's probably really bad. Probably really bad. Okay. Well, that's terrible. Great. We get to fight some dudes. This will be the last combat of the episode, but we will finish it out. Hopefully I don't die. The Gone Ox. A weird rhythmic noise filters through the trees. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't look at this thing's face and feel positive. Look at this thing talking. I need to make it ribbit or something. It's getting louder. Because we're getting closer. Over here. An ancient ox leans its bulk against the beech trunk. Blood pools from its panting muzzle. The thing's sick or something. The ox doesn't flinch from Pallid Free's approach. She notices a wound at the base of its neck. There's something in there, a blue, what looks like a blue pomegranate seed, but it's as big as my fist. You have a 57% chance to get it out? Let's try. We'll see if we win the lottery here. Pallid Free's fingers slip into the wound and pluck the seed neatly free of its resting place. The ox bows its head, feeling nothing. Pallid Free. In a few moments, the ox's breathing normalizes, its muscles relax. It takes tentative steps to the edge of the clearing. Incredible. That's when a gang of afflicted beasts filters out of the trees. Get ready for a fight. They don't lunge. They remain still and stare. They recognize the seed in Pallid Free's hand and absorb the visible recovery of the ox. There's a collective sigh. When they lie down, the light in their eyes dim and die. The ox wanders free. Whoa, I don't know what just happened. So we're basically gonna die here, is what I'm learning. There's like a gigantic frog monster in this combat, and I just, in no world, can think how I we don't die here. He has tongue whip? That is, that is concerning. But you know what? It's fine. It's a really good fire steal. I can kind of launch it through two enemies. I need to group them up very badly. Take a crit kill, which is good. Take a poison attack, that's good. That's a lot of passive damage, huh? Good block. Oh God, the raccoons are here and this thing, crap. All right, how do we deal with this? I could theoretically tongue whip one of these dudes. Is that good? <laughs> it's kind of weird, right? Hmm. I think it's a quelling moss here, right? I think we advance and we do a quelling moss attack. I only get the one but it does hit them both. Well, assuming it doesn't dodge anyway. She's gonna bonk it. Give it the bonk. It's a good bonk. I move up. I wanna try this tongue whip. <laughs> that is... That is very strange to me. But you know what? Fine. We'll give it a bonk. He bonked it. 
That is very odd to me. Oh, my friend is about to just die. Ah, yes, he takes six damage. Um, yeah, he's he's just dead. Okay, I mean, we're probably going to lose here. I, I can't imagine. Ugh. He has to. He has to. Huh. Yeah, I mean, he has to get out of there. I don't know what else to do. This is a nightmare. Uh, these enemies are so strong, it's just not okay. Uh, Alright, let's wall up. Alright, I think the guy's killed by the poison. Yeah, good. Okay, poison. Ugh. Poison. Gross. Ah, oh my gosh. We already have it down. Just poison it up, dude. 87%, huh? It's the same either way, right? So just shoot it. Of course, he blocks it. Oh, great news. I need to keep walled, though, right? Like, there's no way around it. That's even better. Yeah, good. Ugh. This is tough. It's a good cleave here. Oh, but of course, it blocks everything. You know, these guys have 13% chances to not get slapped. Like, we're going to lose, like, everyone here. Like, this is unbelievably difficult, huh? How much poison does this dude have? Two. Can I somehow pull this off? I mean, that pulls it off. Hey, all right, cool. And now I advance here and give this guy a bonk. Cool, okay. That's good, that's progress. Kills the big frog man. Ooh, good dodge, okay. Give it a bonk, get it out of here, Jesus. All right, well, we managed to pull it off. Ah, yes, I want this. Upgrade to Ignite. Yeah, I want that, for sure. Bonus damage can go on Alan Free, I think. Well, she's kind of not actually doing it. I'm gonna put it on this character, yeah. Ugh, Ringo, you in there? She looks around. Hope you don't mind, I wanna be near for a while. I'm just seeing you on the ground earlier. For a minute I thought it happened, the worst thing, the thing I didn't want to think about. She said, I can't fix this, but just remember, I, if you need me, I'm here. And he sneezes. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Sleep on. You can, Ringo. You've earned it. Gross. And we're already fighting true Gorgons. So, you know, this is... This is going to be a nightmare. I have to wait for him to recover. I just can't. I can't. Any other way. Ugh. All right, he's back. We're going to group him up, at least... Whoa, okay. I need to spend everything I can to stop these raccoons. Yeah, okay. I need to group up big time. Bonus damage. Put it on Ringo, I guess. Gather everyone. This is bad. Like, right? What happens if my only town dies? I don't know, but you know what? We'll find out on the next episode. So that's as much as I have time for. This walking lunch difficulty, I'll just briefly tell you, is brutal. The incursion just ran over everything. I've gotten so many calamities. Like, this is chapter one of three. The, these enemies are unbelievable. Like, wow. 
And yeah, we're just in it. We're having a struggle of it. We're gonna... I don't really know what the best solution here is. It might actually be really bad to do walking lunch with new heroes. You might only want to do these with legacy heroes because these new newbies are just like, they just get one shot. So like, it's, it's tough. But anyway, that's as much as I'll say on this episode. So as always, you know, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. Give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And come back next time to see if we survive this chapter. Good grief. Take care, folks.